Hey guys! In this video, we're going to be discussing our travel camera gear for 2021 because most of you guys have been asking how we make our vlogs and our weekly content. And today, we're going to be talking about what's in our travel backpack. If you guys are new to the channel, we are Nat and Max and we are travel content creators here in Vancouver, Canada. Our content revolves around travel in and around British Columbia at the moment. Now the finished product is what you guys mostly see in our YouTube videos weekly, on our Instagram, on TikTok, but there's a lot of effort that goes behind the scenes. And yeah, and these are the equipment that help us do that. And now to get us started, we are going to be starting off with our backpack. Now for the longest time in our content creation journey, we have always used an Insignia camera backpack, which turned out a little bit small now with the amount of equipment that we have. That's why recently we just got this new Wonder Travel camera backpack, which can house all of our equipment today. Nat usually carries all the equipment in his bag. Most of the time, I just carry all the snacks. <laughs> but we eventually bought two of these travel bags for our future travels. Now, although we got two of them, I specifically got the photographer bundle, which comes with the camera cubes. So I can easily pack the camera equipments in there and have the confidence that it would be safe. One thing I really love about this backpack too is it has like a, a side pocket for the camera. So whenever we're going out there and we don't have the camera on our hands, I can easily just pop over the side of the backpack and just grab the camera and just take my photo or video. Now this backpack is also waterproof, which is good for like rainy conditions, especially here in Vancouver. And also the tripod holder at the bottom is a game changer because the biggest problem that I have with the old backpack is like the tripod holder was on the right side. So when I'm carrying the backpack, most of the weight is on the right side, so my right shoulder gets strained a little bit more. But this backpack just easily balances the weight when you have it on your back. This bag also has an extendable feature where if we have a lot of clothes or other things that we need to put on our back, you can easily roll it up and put more stuff inside. I think the first time that we actually used this backpack was during the Hell's Gate video, which is kind of weird at first because it was kind of big. From and we were kind of used to the smaller backpack. I always tease Nat that he looks like a DoorDash delivery guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it just needs some, some time to get used to having a bigger backpack. And for the machines that we're using, we're both Apple users. I'm using the M1 MacBook Air and Nat recently upgraded to the M1 MacBook Pro. Yeah, and I really love this laptop. It just recently came out and the gains in performance is massive. I'm not gonna do a full technical video right now on the MacBook Pro series, but it's a huge jump from our previous laptop. I've always just edited on a MacBook Pro, but it was, I think it was a late 2014 or 2015 model. Every time I open up the editing software or do any form of processing, the fans would just go off instantly. But for this one, it's just so powerful that I haven't even heard the fans turn on while I'm editing the videos. Now we've chosen laptops over desktop computers for editing our videos because since we're doing travel videos, we're, we're always out there. We wanted to be able to pack our laptop and just do work on the fly. And with this new Wondered backpack, it has a laptop compartment which you can easily just slide in. That being said, whenever we're here at home editing videos, I still have my own workstation. I connect my MacBook Pro to an external monitor, which is just a cheap Dell monitor that I got from Best Buy. And for the keyboard and mouse, I use an Apple Magic Keyboard 2 and a Logitech MX Master 3. For the headphones, I have a couple of them. The main one that I use for editing the vlogs is a pair of Beats Solo, which is kind of feels like a little bit too big now, now that we're traveling a little bit more. And I also have the AirPods Pro, which I intend to use a little bit more. Moving on to editing software on what we use to edit our vlogs and videos. I personally use Final Cut Pro, which is a paid application from Apple. I just find it easier and more intuitive from the other softwares out there. And also when I was still in school, I used to have experience on editing videos on iMovie, which is a similar software from Apple. Now moving on to music that we use on our vlog, and probably the most asked question on our channel on where we get our music. We use a music subscription website called audio.com. And among all of the music subscription out there, we find that audio.com is the best option for us. What's great about them is they have a lifetime subscription where you pay one fee and you get to use their library for life. And you know us, we love putting a lot of music in our videos because it gives life in our vlogs. 
So moving on to cameras, we currently use the Sony A7C, which is a full frame camera from Sony. But before that, we started our journey using smaller cameras. I think the very first camera that we own was a Canon G7X, which is a small point and shoot camera. And I think we used that for about a year or two. And then we slowly upgraded to a mirrorless camera, which is called the Sony A6400 before having this setup. I think all of the travel vloggers and YouTubers use the Canon G7X as their first camera. And also one thing that we really love about this current camera that we have is it's a compact camera as opposed to having the, for example, the Sony a7 III or the a Sony a7S III, which has a massive body. This uh, Sony a7C has like a smaller build, so we can just instantly bring this and not get too noticed out there. Yeah, it also has a flip out screen so we can see ourselves during vlogging. And pairing with this body for the lens, we have a Sony 16 to 35 millimeters G Master lens, which is kind of nice because you can really see that wide angle whenever you're shooting. I think during the time that we were researching for lenses for this full frame camera, I think the 16 to 35 millimeters Sony G Master lens was one of the most used lenses out there by travel vloggers because they can easily have dynamic range paired up with a full frame camera. Just one of the more flexible and versatile lenses out there. And together with the lens, we also have a quartz line 82 millimeter ND8 polarizing filter. It's just nice putting that into the camera whenever we're shooting out there and it's quite sunny outside. And for the mic, we use a shotgun mic on top of the camera setup that we have. This is a Deity V mic V3 microphone, which is a super cardioid. So being a super cardioid, that enables us to pick up audio coming from the front and also a little bit of audio coming from the back. So I can easily just pick up the camera and whenever I'm shooting at max and, and then I can also speak from behind the camera. So the microphone also comes with a windscreen and we also purchased a separate bed cat from Amazon. These are very helpful when we're vlogging outdoors and the wind are so strong. And together with this setup, we paired up with this Joby 5K Pro tripod. So some of the few things that we really love about this tripod is it has flexible legs, so we can instantly bend it to what we need it for. And also this is the 5K kit, which has the ability to support up to five kilograms of weight for your camera. So if ever we decided to upgrade in the future, as long as we maintain that under that five kilogram mark, this tripod should be able to support it. This tripod is very helpful for us whenever we wanted to put down the camera and film ourselves, as you guys may have noticed in some of our vlogs. Yeah, and aside from that, I think this has pretty much like a vlogging mode for most of the vloggers out there. So you can easily convert it into like a holding grip and you can use it as a stick for the camera. And for a bigger tripod setup, we also have the newer carbon fiber tripod, which easily just pops into the Wonder backpack. We always use this tripod whenever we wanted to film ourselves or take Instagram photos, couple photos out there. You guys may already have seen them. And we use like the timer functionality in our cameras and, and on our cell phones. Also a, a small nifty tool which improves our quality of life. This small equipment called Olanzi Quicklaw which we always put on both our tripods so we can instantly switch the camera from one tripod to another without unscrewing all of the equipment and everything. Now that is our main setup, which probably captures 95% of our vlogs. But together with that, we also have smaller cameras. So we also have the DJI Osmo Action, which is our main action cam. So whenever the big camera can't make an adventure or has the tendency of getting broken, we always switch with our action cam. And also this action cam kind of pairs up with either a selfie stick or this clamping mount that we got from Amazon as well. So whenever you guys see us doing canoes, kayaking, or ATVs, or any adventures out there, we always make sure to clamp this mount so you guys can have a different perspective. So aside from the selfie stick and this mounting clamp, we also have this floating device. This kind of ensures that the action cam doesn't get lost whenever we do water adventures. Yeah, like last time, I remember surfing in Tofino and Nat lost the action cam. During that time, I just have it clamped. I have like a head mount. I was going for a wave and it just suddenly just popped off my head. We spent maybe 10 minutes looking for it and luckily we just found it. Since then, we make sure that whenever we do water activities, we have this floating device connected to our action cam. 
Also, after the action cam, we also have the DJI Mavic Mini 1. This is the first version. I think they have a version 2 that came out now. We probably have this about for over two years. To be honest, we haven't even flown this for as much as we wanted to because we're, we have been really cautious on like abiding rules and regulations. And also this drone is under 250 grams, which means you don't need to apply for a license if you wanted to fly it. Also, we love that this drone is so small that we can easily pack it in our backpack and we can bring it anywhere. And whenever we wanted to give you guys a bird's eye view of our vlogs or of our destination, then we can easily do so. Finally, for the last bits of equipment, we have two spare batteries for the DJI Action Cam. We have one extra battery for the DJI drone and two spare batteries for the main camera. And in terms of hard drive, we actually have a bunch of hard drives that keeps our footages. I don't think we've ever deleted a footage since we started vlogging. We've always just kept everything in those hard drives. And also, before we forget, we wanted to emphasize that aside from the cameras, we also use our cell phones to take pictures, videos, and footages. Even if you have this much cameras or equipment, the best camera that you can use is still the camera that is available to you. So you can capture those moments and afterwards apply them in a story. So hope you guys enjoyed this video of us discussing our travel camera gear for 2021. 2021 has been a big upgrade year for us in terms of equipment. That's why we really wanted to do this video as well. And hopefully this video is helpful for you guys who are looking to do the same as we do. Before you guys leave, make sure to leave a like and if you have any further questions, leave them in the comment section down below and we'll try our best to answer them. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!